Yo, what is good YouTube? Jay Lockham up here today. We're talking about defense. Defense is a big topic this year in 2K. is really, really hard, um, especially for these guards. So I'm going to teach you guys today how to stop sliding. I might make this into a series of this defensive mechanics. Help you guys out on the park, stage, and pro am. Before we get started, everyone, please right now go down and smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 6,000 subs. Hopefully, we can hit that before 2K drops on the PS5. So, get right into it, guys. There's two ways you can access this. We're going to go through the um, defensive settings. So, go to either the futures, controller settings, and then scroll all the way down. We're looking at here the defensive assistant C and this who to guard. Also, I want to show you guys that you can access this through your mic court as well. It's right behind you to the right. So go to your mic court and you can also do the same exact thing. You can't do it from, you know, the normal mic career menus and stuff. I don't know why that is. But to access this, guys, either go to the main screen through features and controller settings. Or, as you see here, go to your mic court. From here, go to your options, controller settings, and then go all the way down. You'll see right here, defensive, D, and who to guard. Now, turn this off. Um, sometimes they'll drag you in an unwanted direction unless you kind of move the right stick or click the right stick, and then you can change it. With who to guard off, it makes it just a lot easier, in my opinion. Now, defensive assist with, um, defensive assist with intense D. So, what this means is determines the effectiveness of AI defensive movement assistance when holding intense D. Now, 2K determines intense D. It's just your defensive stance when you press L2. So, what this does is it kind of almost drags you just slightly towards the defender. When it's at zero, you it doesn't do anything. So, this gives you the ability to kind of press L2 to kind of slow yourself down. And... Um, I suggest playing between 15 and 30. You guys can adjust it yourself as you see fit. As you go higher, you feel like you kind of move a little bit slower. When you go lower, you get that sliding because everyone starts off at zero. And it's kind of weird to access this either from the main menu or through your mic court. Because I tried looking at this many times and I just didn't do it the right way. I don't know why it took it has it like that. So, again, guys, turn this the guard off. I usually play around, I, I like 30 some, um, you can kind of just, you know, mess around with it. As you tap L2, that kind of gets you into that defensive stance, that's when intensive D is activated, and you kind of slow down, kind of get pulled just very slightly towards your defender. Obviously, if you're a lockdown build, um, you'll be playing defense a lot better. Um, also... Again, internet plays a big factor into this. 2K is latent as it is, so no matter how your internet is, you're gonna face some sort of latency. Um, but the better it is, obviously the easier it will be to play defense. And I'm just throwing around some random gameplay in the back. Don't pay attention to it too much. It's just from patch, you know, two. So guys, when you're playing defense, um, you have to just be really smart if when you're pressing turbo, when you're pressing L2, and you know really try to cut them off when to stay on someone's hip almost behind them but not too far behind so you don't crab there's a lot that goes into defense this year and it's really it's pretty difficult with how fast these players are and especially that play shot build with how well they can shoot now thankfully there was a patch yesterday on nerfing fades what i've seen is that fades mid-range still seem pretty solid um, fading with the three point doesn't seem as good. Um, you know, it still seems okay. I think they should have nerfed it a little bit more, but that's just what I've seen so far. Just with playing myself and playing against other people. I don't see people spamming fades as much as they did in the past. And I'll probably make a video sometime in the future about just more in depth how to play defense, how to play when the people are playing screens, how to guard ISO, how to you know guard big man um, when people just have really big guy strength, and sometimes you get caught in a mismatch. What's the best ways to guard that? How to play one v ones? All that stuff, guys. I want to cover a lot into defensive topics, but. That is it for this video today, guys. Thank you guys so much for coming down and watching. Once again, leave a like, comment down below any questions that you may have. I answer each and every single thing. If you have any video suggestions, let me know. I'll make whatever you guys want. Hit that subscribe button, guys, on the way to 6,000. Until next time, 
See you later.